So I want to talk about this cool dice trick that was covered in number file by Ben Sparks. It's a really cool arithmetic trick. And I want to talk about the algebra and arithmetic that goes beyond behind it, I mean. So first step, there it comes in three steps, by the way, uh, is to add up all the numbers here. Okay, so add up all the numbers of the three die. So it's going to be four plus one plus three. Okay, four plus one plus three. Then you get the sum that's going to be eight. All right, then next step pick any random die i'm gonna pick the three and gonna look at the bottom of the three so uh the original one was gonna be three right the original one is three look at the bottom the bottom one is four so gonna so you what do you do you take that bottom number and add it to this sum four plus one plus three plus four so that's gonna be eight plus four twelve okay then this one the one that you took the bottom number of re-roll it re-roll it then you, you get this new number five. Then add that to the sum. That's the third step. Four plus one plus three plus four plus five. Then you get 17. Now, all these three steps are done by the roller. The roller is the one who is rolling the dice. But the guesser, his eyes have been closed the entire time. He's not allowed to look at these three steps and he's not allowed to, to, to know these numbers, okay? Any th the only piece of information the guesser can look at is this, the final three dice at their final state. And he needs to guess what is the, this final number supposed to be, okay? And this, the scary thing is, is that you think, well, that's pretty much impossible since you need to know step one and step two, but he can only see the effects of step three. He doesn't know what is gonna be this number and what's gonna be this number because it has been altered. So how can he know the final number? Well, the trick is, add up all the numbers here, 4 plus 1 plus 5, that's going to be 10, then add 7. 10 plus 7, 17. Now you're probably thinking, well, is that a co just a coincidence or something? No. There's an algebra and arithmetic to it, which is pretty, pretty cool. I would like to show you what is going to be the technique that was used, the math behind this. So the first step was that, I'm going to, first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to label the dice. So this is going to be... So originally, this was three, right? This was three originally. Gonna locate three, yeah. Originally, this one was three. So I'm gonna call this one dice A, I'm gonna call this one dice B, I'm gonna call this dice C. And the first step was to sum up all the numbers, right? So summing up all the numbers, put that in an equation that's gonna be A plus B plus C. Then this one would equal, uh, I'll call this a number, I'll call this N1 for the number one, the first number. Next thing we're gonna do, Okay, we're gonna. I took this one, I took C, it doesn't really matter which dice is it, but I found the bottom one, right? The bottom one is four, so A plus B plus C plus C, the bottom number of C, okay, the bottom number of dice C. Now, what does this mean? Well, well guess what? Any opposite faces of, of a die actually add up to seven. You see, three plus four add up to seven, see over here, two plus five add up to seven. So actually, this, because this is opposite to this, the number here is opposite to this, because it's at the bottom, this one is at, is at the top number. They both add up to seven, and they form the new number, N2, but they both add up to seven, so I could just simplify this to being seven, okay? So that so that so that's the interesting arithmetic that's involved. Then I took uh, this number, so this dice, I took the exact same dice, I rerolled it, and got a new number for C. Uh, this new number is five. So I'm gonna now put A plus B plus seven. Then I added the new number, so that's gonna be five. So it's gonna be plus CN as C new. And this equals to the final number, and three, this is the one that the guesser is supposed to guess. And you'd think, well, how would the guesser guess? He can only see the, the three numbers, the three final die. But, but the three final die is exactly A, B, and C, N, the new C. All he has to do is sum up all these three numbers and add seven to get the final number. That's the trick, that's the algebra to it. So you, you wanna see, you wanna, you wanna see um, just one, one more time how this works. Okay, let me try the new set of numbers. Okay. okay, so over here you can see two, six and five okay two six and five two plus six plus five which uh equals 
two, seven plus six, 13. Okay, now take a random one. I'm gonna pick two, take the bottom one. Bottom one is gonna be five. Now five, five plus two, again, opposite faces add up to seven. So I five plus two plus six plus five, five plus two, again, see, it, it, it falls in line with our general rule, right? It always add up, adds up to seven. So this is A, this is B, and this is gonna be C. So uh, the thing is they both add up to seven, both the C on the bottom and the C on the top. And this is gonna be seven plus six plus five, which is going to be 18, okay? And then the one that I took the bottom of, this one, I'm gonna re-roll it. This new, this new value, which is gonna be four, I add it on, seven plus six plus five plus four is equal to six plus four, 10, 10 plus five, 15. 15 plus seven is going to be 22. And then how can I, how can the guesser find out it's 22? Look at the three die over here. The three die is four plus six plus five, all I have to do is to add 7 to get 22. Yeah, that is the arithmetic behind it.